Hello. This video is going to talk about how to do the whip stitch. Uh, you use the whip stitch on many of Help Heal Veterans projects. Uh, a lot of the leather wallets, uh, coin cases, things like that. So first of all, some of the kits tell you for the whip stitch um, how long to cut the lace it comes with. Um, other kits may not. So the rule of thumb with the whip stitch is that it needs to be three and a half times around the project. So this is a coin case, two pocket coin case. So we're going to measure it. around, holding the lace like this. So that is one. So then you just fold it and there's two and then you fold it again and there's three and then you want to go halfway, whatever that is. And then you're going to cut your lace. So that is all the lace that we need to do the two pocket coin case. So I like to make sure my lace is kind of straight. So if it tends to have a lot of bends in it, which often it does because it's been rolled up, you can take a pair of scissors or you can do it on the side of a table and you're going to hold the lace with your thumb between your thumb and the scissors. And you don't want to press too hard because you don't want to ruin the lace. You just want to give a little pressure and pull it. And it just helps straighten the lace out so it doesn't twist as much when you're trying to sew it. So next we're going to thread the needle here. And to do that you're going to cut an angle on the end of your lace like this. So the needle here, has a little tooth in there. So you're going to go up through the hole. You're going to bend it over. You're going to slide the little point oops, in between. so that it gets between the tooth right there. And if you need, you can use a pair of pliers to kind of squish that back together so that it holds the lace. So you want to make sure if you tug on it a little bit, not real hard, that it doesn't come out while you're sewing. So with the two pocket, you're going to end. You're going to start here and end here. If you're sewing a wallet, like this ID wallet here, you're going to lace all the way around and come back. So how you start them is a little different. So I'm going to show you this one first. So to start the two pocket coin or some other project that ends, it starts in one spot and ends in the other, it doesn't go all the way around. You're going to start in the middle between two layers of leather at one of the starting at the start of it. And you're going to go in through, make sure your holes are lined up. So you want to leave a tail that is about four holes long or five if you're worried about it. You want to make sure it's not going to accidentally get pulled out from use. And so this tail, as you're lacing, needs to fall between the edge, the holes and the edge. You don't want the tail sticking inside the coin case. So the first hole try not to pull your tail out. first hole here, you're actually going to go through two of the holes twice. 
So you're gonna, and now you're gonna add the top part of the coin case, and you're gonna go through all three layers. trying to not get the twists out here. You kind of just turn the lace and pull the twist through to get the twists out. So that's the first one. And then continue the whip stitch is rather easy. You just want to make sure you're always going through the same side. So since I started on the inside, I'm always going to go through the inside. And you're going to line up those holes. Make sure they're all lined up and your little tail is in the middle between the layers of leather between the holes and the edge. And so there you go, you're going to keep doing that all the way around. And that is how you start the loop stitch. So as you're going around, you want to make sure that you don't overly tighten your loop stitch. Uh, you just want it snug, especially with some of the leather uh, that's a little softer. Uh, it can actually tear it if you uh, lace it too tight. Now we're here at the corner, and with the corner, sometimes it's nice to go through the corner hole twice so that there's not such a gap on your stitches here. So you just go through that same hole two times so that there's not this huge gap right there on your corner there. Okay, so now that we've come to the last hole here, you're going to go through that hole, and then to end this, you're going to take the needle, and you're going to go in between the layers of leather, and you're going to go four or five holes down, you're going to have the needle come back up. So you want to make sure your needle's running between the holes and the outside of the, the project. And then you're going to pull that through. You want to make sure there aren't any twists in your lace as you pull it through. Then you're just going to cut the edge of this a little end here. And if the little end is sticking out, you can use your needle to kind of push it back underneath there in between the two layers. And that's how you end and start the loop stitch. And so now we're going to show you how to end and start on a project that goes all the way around. Okay, so once again, we're going to measure around the kit. So I just keep holding the lace as I measure around, and then there's one, so we're going to go th three and a half times to four times around. So we match that measurement, so that's two. And then we fold it in half again, and that's four. So that's four times around. And then we're going to want to cut an angle on the thread there. With the scissors. A little bit sticking out there. And we're going to take our needle again. Oh, that one's a little bent. <laughs> take a new needle here. We're going to go up through the hole.
You just want it long enough so that it'll go under that little needle in there, that little tooth in there, I mean. And then you're going to squish it back together, make sure it's snug. And when you thread these needles, you just want to make sure that the thread's not sticking out over the edge. Uh, you can also take um, like a exacto blade or, and shave it along the metal to shave off the edge as opposed to cutting the angle. I find scissors to be safer, so I use scissors. So, to start a project that goes all the way around, and we're doing the loop stitch still, you're still going to want to pick a spot in the middle where there's two layers of leather as opposed to an edge where there's only a single layer. So you can make sure you're going to line your holes up. I stick my needle through. Uh, if you hold them up to the light, you can sometimes see the daylight through them. Make sure they're nice and lined up. So with this, we're going to start in the middle again. But this time in the middle of the project and in the middle between the two pieces of layer, leather. So, you're going to leave the tail, once again, four or five holes long in the same spot between the holes and the outside of the project. So instead of lacing though through the hole twice this time, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the next hole. So when you put your needle through, once again double check and make sure that's the right hole and that they're, they're still all lined up here with the other side. Once again, you're just going to make sure you keep going through always the same side to make the loop. So this is the inside of the ID wallet, so we're always going to lace through the hole on this side. And then we're going to go all the way around the project, and when we get to this part, we're going to add this one on. So once again, when you get to the corner here, if you uh, don't want the gap, you can go through that corner twice. So you want to make sure the needle goes underneath the thread so they don't get tangled up. The original stitch. And then pull it through. Got to watch for these twists. So there you go, so your gap's not so big. So as I'm lacing, I usually go through and even the stitches out so that they're the same distance apart here. So if you do it as you're lacing, uh, you can also go back after you're done and do this, but so you just want to move them a little bit so that they're even like this. Uh, it just looks nicer when you're done. Uh, some people lace the whole thing and then sit there and go back and and straighten them all out when they're all done with everything. So once again, like I said with the other project, make sure you don't make this too tight, especially uh, if your leather is softer. If it's a stiffer leather, it doesn't make as much difference. But with the softer leather, it tends to See, like here it'll bind up, so you don't want that too, too tight. So you can see on this project, this is the corner that I went through the hole twice, and this corner I didn't. So you can see how they look a little different, so it really depends on your preference um, and, and what 
you think looks better. So now we're going to end the stitch on the project that goes all the way around. So this is the loop stitch. So we have one more hole here. So on this project you can see we don't have any more holes on this side but we have one left here and you're supposed to. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your needle and you're going to go in the hole and you're going to go between the two layers so that your needle is between the two layers of leather between the holes and the top of the project. Then you're going to go through five or five, four or five uh, stitches and poke your needle out between the two layers on the top there. Pull that through. And there you go. So now you can't tell where you started and where you finished. That's the idea anyways. And then you clip off the end there. And once again, if it is poking out a little bit, you can uh, take your needle and push it in there. And if you have any stitches that are not lined up right or the gap's too big, you can at this point go around and kind of straighten them out. And that is the single loop stitch. So things to remember with the single loop stitch, line up your holes, start each stitch from the same side of the project, whether it's the front or the inside of the project or the outside of the project, always the same one. And keep and straighten your stitches out as you go. And you'll have a nice project when you're done.